to episode 12. Uh, I'm not getting up. You get up. Busy man. <laughs> yeah, welcome to episode 12. It's been it's been a long day for the start of the week. We started on Tuesday because we took Monday off. Uh, and so far we've covered Burton and Tamworth, which you've just seen. Um, Burton was quite nice. It was surprisingly really hot. So after I did the trekking there, I had to change from pants to shorts. And then we got into Tamworth, which we're at presently. And it got like really cloudy, but not that, not too cool, so it's fine. Uh, Burton seems like a nice place. I'm not sure about Tamworth. There was a man kind of following me for quite a long time. Um, I'm not sure if it's the same man, but we had a man giving a, a bit of an aggressive face, but he didn't do anything. And then the, I, I could overhear a guy on three occasions, like screaming, like Google Maps, or I'll say, oh, it's Google Maps, and he would say, yeah, I'm trying, I'm trying to follow him or trying to chase him or something. Surprisingly, I'm already kind of feeling the strain at the moment. I don't know if it's because of our three days off or not, but uh, we're starting the week on the Tuesday, so we've got four days this week and possibly a fifth or Saturday and Sunday. So in the surrounding area, you've got places like Coventry and Leicester. Um, so we've got two locations per day, if you can help it, and there's potential that we're going to stop on uh, stop away from home on a Friday as well and cover uh, some places that might get rained off during this week and if we're really lucky we'll head to York and try and do that place again. Uh, but I'll shut up for now, I'm pretty tired <laughs> already. So yeah, I'll leave you to it and enjoy the rest of the video. Bye! How bad's that? Why aren't we funding this?
So I'll turn the fan off. Hang on. Stop then making noise. Okay, so we've done Loughborough and Beeston today, and that's the ones that you just saw. Sorry. Where did we go from? We went from Rugby into Loughborough, and then we went to Beeston, and now we've driven up, back up to York again, um, because we missed out on York last week because it was raining. So with the way that this week's been, hopefully we can get it done tomorrow. I do kind of want to bring something up about using the trekker it's a strange one when you're in the street view car it's a very different situation because no one actually gets to well no one flips you off or no one gives you any abuse when you're using the trekker apart from i suppose there's one guy who you probably saw in the highlights who flipped off the camera but you know i've, I've had a lot of that so i'm not really that fussed about it this time around But using the trekker, it's a really strange sensation when you put it on and everyone's looking. No matter what their age or anything like that, it's every you know, literally ninety nine point nine percent of people will notice and will stare and will say hi and will say, Oh my god, it's Street View and things like that. Using the trekker it's a very strange sensation because as a guy as an everyday guy you never get any kind of attention whatsoever you know you're all the same as everyone else no one pays attention to each other if you're a woman especially if you're i don't know i guess above average then you're going to get a lot more attention than other people and whether you like it or not you're going to get that for life and I, I do kind of sympathise with that. Because from a guy's perspective, I'm not used to it. In my first year of using the Street View Trekker, I was I was kind of lapping it up. I was embracing a lot of people coming over and asking questions or saying hi and, uh, you know, whatever the situation might be. Um, this year, I'm surrounded by a lot more, a lot more people on a daily basis. Which I don't mind. It does mean a lot more people are watching, a lot more people are asking him questions and things like that. And I don't mind that at all. I'm not lapping it up quite like I was in my first year. So the benefit for me in that respect is that I can kind of turn off the attention simply by taking it off. But as I said, it's a, it's a strange sensation when... I don't know, sometimes I think a person just needs that kind of attention around. So once you're taking it off, that's it. You know, people won't look twice. People aren't saying hi and people aren't asking curious questions and, you know, just generally interacting with you. You're just back to being you. It is a really weird concept. You go straight from being no one to being the centre of attention and then back to absolutely nothing again. It's it's a really strange situation. If you're like me, then chances are you're not going to get seen twice by anyone on the street. If you are someone famous uh, or you're just a very attractive person, then you're going to get attention every day and whether you like it or not you're going to get that attention for life most likely I don't actually know where, where I'm going with this but I just wanted to put that point across the, the the sheer weirdness that wearing that wearing the trekker is because it's not like the the van I'm driving the trekker around in has got any kind of decals on it the street view cars are absolutely full of bright colors and you know the the mast on top with the camera and the google logo all over it it's it's a different situation because it's it's just like every other van you wouldn't think twice as to what was inside it because there's no indication as to what 
what it is or what it's for or, or you know same as me you know I don't wear Google decals or anything like that on myself either so you know it's it's one of them yeah like I said I, I don't know what point I'm putting across I just wanted to see how, how that kind of feels on a daily basis I mean the one thing that always sucks about this job is that it does end after the summer period well, in, the, in the UK anyway it does end and you just go back to being whoever you were before you started back in like the early year I kind of see what celebrities go through when I don't know let's think of an example let's say I don't know, someone in the charts, maybe. They release a single, everyone knows then the song is everywhere. And they might not release a song after that. And then everyone forgets. I don't know. It's weird. I mean, again, I, I don't know what point I'm pointing across, but there you go. Anyway, York's tomorrow, so let's see how that goes. it for the week that was York uh, special thanks to the GoPro that didn't run out of batteries I was extremely worried it was gonna run out very early on but it didn't so well done I'm gonna say congrats to the weather as well it's still really nice and sunny outside uh, I didn't even need to bring a coat I was freezing to start with but yeah turned out okay thanks for watching this week's tour it's been a really productive week and um, I'm gonna have a big announcement I think sometime over the weekend we'll have a look See if anyone caught me on uh, Twitter as well. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.